and welcome and I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for joining the channel. Don't forget to like the video if it will help you. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in the VW products such as Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche. In this video, I will share with you how to remove a headlight assembly from your MK5, Jetta or Golf. And I will show you the best way. Number one of the tool, you would need a flat screwdriver. And number two, that's right, only two tools you would need, is a T25 star looking install or insert in your screwdriver and an extension like such. And I will show you why. You do need the extension, not so you don't need to take off the bumper. <laughs> And then at the end of the video, if you're interested, I will share with you why you do not want to install an aftermarket assembly of a Xenon type of light in your MK5. Step number one would be to remove this bolt and this one right here. Step number two would be to undo these two clips. And unfortunately, in my case, whoever was working on this car or uh, animals so they broke them off but you would have to press them inwards and then pull the grill up so once you have it loose from here and here then you just pull it out step number three to remove this bolt right here it's actually a screw not a bolt that of a size. Next, remove this guy right here. Next step would be to remove that Phillips screw right in there. So after removing both of these plastic caps, now we have access to, let me get an angle, proper angle to right there, that bolt right there, you see it? Yeah, that's the guy right there. I know it looks funky, but it works. So what I did, I located the uh, screw itself with my thumb and then I guide the front of the screwdriver in there and here you go. I guess the beauty or the funkiness of this method allows you not to remove the whole bumper. But again, of course, it's all up to you. I'm just sharing with you what I was able to do. Undo the wires. All right, once the wire is removed, undo this guy here. Now, why don't you want to install Xenon in your MK5? Number one, your stock harness and plugs are not made for the current that will be traveling through your wiring into this headlight assembly to produce enough power to get the light bulbs going. And even though Depot is telling you, well, it should work, uh, these are, by the way, not cheap pair of headlights, it's telling you, well, don't worry, it will work. We have a transformer here that will power this light bulb. Not the case. Both of the light bulbs are popped on this Jetta. I just got it and both of them don't work. Again, about the current. It's traveling through, through this transformer, it is melting. 
Imagine the amount of electricity that travels through your stock, harness, wiring, and the plugs. It's melting the housing of the transformer. And then it's also melting the housing ring of your actual light bulb. You're also paying a lot more money. I would say that at some point, whoever installed this pair of lights spent at least thousand bucks. Both of these light bulbs are now not working and you need to replace them. I came back today from AutoZone and one of these lights is a hundred bucks before the tax. You definitely don't need, so do not fall for Xenon. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If so, don't forget to like it, share it with somebody you know, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. More content on this GLI. I also have the MK6 GTI that I'm working on. I have the Audi B6 A4 1.8 Turbo. Uh, a lot more content on the VW product. It's going to be Audi, Volkswagen, Porsche, and I hope you will like it. I also like to travel. I combine the two, the VW world with the travel of the world we live in, which is a happy place to be. It's all about the perspective, right? So like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you again. Bye.